today we're gonna talk about the ChatGPT app on Mac. I've been using this for a couple of days and I found that it's super useful. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the app functionality and how you can use this to leverage your workflow, just like this. Hey Siri, make a Facebook post. Okay. So basically you got the full features of whatever you got with the uh, website version but things just get even more smooth, convenient, consistent, and more awesome. Since you got the app, whenever you want to use ChatGPT, there will be a shortcut for it. Instead of command and spay for Spotlight, now we can use the option and spay to call out the ChatGPT. So it's not only convenient, but actually there's one more feature that you couldn't get with the website version. So from the chat box, you can take a screenshot of whatever you're working on and then send it directly to the ChatGPT for query. So just to give you a better view of this functionality, I already prepared pictures of the math questions and what I'm gonna do, I'll press the option and command to call out the chat GPT and then I press on this. So on the text screenshot options, there are a few more windows over here, but uh, we'll select the preview and math questions because it is indicate these pictures and I'm gonna write some of the prompt, um, solve these questions and then click enter. So basically you save a lot of time uh, by doing this compared to the Chinese no way. Um, you have to take the screenshot and then upload photos or upload files. So ChatGPT has been so great, but it will get even more useful when you integrate with shortcut. So in the past few days, I've been working on shortcut and I was thinking, what if I combine the smart of ChatGPT and the automation of shortcut? That could be wild. So I start to make the first shortcut which I able to tell ChatGPT to summarize the news which I'm reading. Hey Siri, give me the summary. Okay. But it did not stop there. I want to extend the shortcut functionality. So it has to transfer in from the summaries and then make a Facebook post with hashtag and the link and then save automatically to my note for future using. Hey Siri, make a Facebook post. That's done. So if you're interested in this shortcut, you can find the link in the video description and download it for free. Let me know in the comment what do you think about the automations, about shortcut on MacBook and also about the GPT. I'll sure make the videos about the shortcut, how to use and I share some of my useful shortcut which can save you a lot of time. And thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.